715 Gull Point. I like houses that were built around this time because you have sidewalks and wider streets. That's a cul-de-sac. Um, obviously lots of parking here and you don't see a lot of that nowadays. We have a satellite dish. I think maybe power wash the driveway and repaint this frame around the garage. At some point, the fascia would need to be repainted too. Uh, it's not a big expense. I just did mine for under $700. And that's something that would not need to be done very often. And I think this wood frame would need to be painted as well. This door needs to look brand new. So maybe fill these in, repaint, change out to landlord locks. All the normal stuff. These are the two and a half inch faux wood blinds that we like to use. So that's nice that they're already in place. The blinds up top are not the blinds we use. Uh, the property manager could give her opinion on whether we need to replace them or just remove them, maybe even keep them. <laughs> so we need a blind here, remove this mirror. So three blinds downstairs. I think the cabinet poles may need to be replaced. Uh, property manager's decision. It's a very tiny little animal door. Most renters have animals, so we usually leave them. Actually, I think we've always left them. Make sure that rolls easily. This is a fantastic backyard. This side of the yard does get sun all day, so it's really nice that we have the patio cover. We have that extended little pergola there. This is a huge patio cover. Lots of concrete as well with the rocks. Two satellite dishes. Uh, this side of the house has a lot of screens on it. Uh, the property manager will let us know what she thinks about that. Again, this is the side of the house that gets a lot of sun. Since we have the screens up there, I don't think we need the uh, blinds on the inside. So we have a lot, what looks like this rock underneath all these leaves here. We may need to get a security bar and a locking mechanism for the door handle. That's something that we often, a uh, security bar is something we often do. Of course, repaint all of this. So I think it's a full repaint. <laughs> uh, get some bifold doors here. Elongated toilet, that's nice. Rekey this door as well. This is a great garage. People are really going to like the extra space. Rekey this door. A little stain in the carpet there. But the rest of it actually looks good. Definitely repaint these cabinets. Replace both light fixtures. Elongated toilet. Replace the drain ring that's 65. Replace the baseboard back there. Recock. That's all normal stuff in a house this age. Nice high ceilings make the room feel larger. That is the correct blind. I need the properties probably Andrew's opinion on this. But we do need closet door guides and maybe replace the hardware here. There's no hardware on that door. Same with here. Old, none. But these have the little ridges that you can use. Very small uh, closet hanging space here. 
none here. Correct blind, correct blind, carpet looks good. It looks like it's wired for a ceiling fan. Good blinds, great loft. Little tiny stain in the carpet there. Decent sized master. This room gets sun all day, so probably want to keep the uh, screens. This is bent. We don't have valances. Because it's the master, you might want to consider replacing those two lines. Remove this probably, repaint these cabinets. Not a ton of closet space, but I think that's normal for this area, for properties built in this area around this time. Drain ring, that's about $65. Lines look good in here. Probably recock in here as well. And we can clean all this up during the repaint. Just, what I can see, just the normal cosmetic things for a house this age.